everybody. So today I'm doing a very special family movie night in honor of Thanksgiving. And uh, we are talking about uh, foreign films this month. And this is a movie that I've been wanting to review on my channel for a long time. I just haven't been able to find the right spot. And this is just like the perfect spot. So we are going to be talking about The Bet's Feast. This is a Danish film from 1987. It was the winner of the Academy Award foreign film that year. And uh, it's a really, really special film and perfect for uh, something to watch on Thanksgiving. And basically, Babette's Feast is about uh, two women in this really, it's this 19th century, uh, very pious coastal town in Denmark, where they are basically required to like kind of a Puritanist like life. And the, everything is required to be kept very simple. These two sisters, Martine and Philippia, have suitors that come after you know, them, but their strict father and their strict beliefs uh, hold them back. And one is a general, and the other it's a, uh, has a, uh, a very flirtatious opera singer. And uh, they, so they have these experiences, but they end up staying in this town and keeping their sort of observance of their life. Well, one day, this woman named Babette uh, stumbles upon their door, a letter from the opera singer who had uh, courted uh, one of the uh, sisters, and he's asking them to uh, take her in to uh, provide her refuge because there's great persecution in Paris at the time for her. So they they don't have the money, but they agree uh, to, they don't have the money to hire on help, but they agree basically for like room and board to let her be with them, let her live with them. And uh, they eat very simple food, these people. They have a, basically like a thin soup in the for the main meal and they have this porridge made out of bread and beer and that's basically it and they have their sort of devotions and everything like that well one day after 14 years of living with these these uh, sisters uh, babette wins the lottery and so she decides that she is going to give these sisters that have been so kind to her that she's going to give them a real french feast and so she sends away for everything. There's even like a turtle, <laughs> like turtle soup. Uh, it's, it's very elaborate. And most of like the second half of the movie is uh, these people in this congregation. There's, I think, 12 of them that uh, she makes the feast for, including a general who uh, I think he's related to the general uh, from the, um, then it dated uh, Martine. And so uh, there's this group that she makes this meal for. And uh, it's really funny because the, the, the group are concerned that this elaborate meal, when they see all these things being bought and brought and everything, that it's going to be like corrupting for them and that it's going to, uh, you know, be a, a sinful experience or whatever for them. And so they make the, they don't want to hurt Babette's feelings. So they decide that they're just going to eat it and they're not going to like, they're not going to comment. They're just going to like eat it and be quiet and everything like that. And meanwhile, the, the officer is eating and he's like, Oh my gosh, this is the most delicious meal I've ever had. And he's looking around like what's wrong with all the rest of these people. So it's pretty funny. And uh, I, I love the way that the religious characters in this film are portrayed because they're not characters. They're not uh, these like overbearing, pious uh, people that are judging people at all. They're just living this life that they've chosen and it's something that gives them joy. And uh, <clears throat> they're very humble. They're very lovely people. And I think a lot of other movies, like I hate movie chuckle lot you know because i feel like that movie the religious characters are very judgy and very like i don't know it's that to me that movie does wrong what this movie does so right and really this film is all about the sort of the power of creation and how when we whether it's a meal whether it's a sermon or whether it's a uh, a, a friendship, whatever it is that we're like working to create For me, it's a YouTube video maybe, or whatever it might be that, that, that there's like great power in that to like bring people together. And then like, that's the important thing in life is like 
creation. <laughs> and, uh, and I love at the end when they find out how much truly that bet has devoted to this meal and, uh, and, and the Martine says, now you will be poor the rest of your life. And Babette says, an artist is never poor. And then I love Philippa says, but this is not the end, Babette. In paradise, you will be the great artist God meant you to be. <laughs> That's so beautiful, very touching, and just a wonderful moment between these people that on the surface might not have much in common, but life threw them together. And they were able to sort of appreciate each other's gifts and each other, what other, what each other could create. This is not somebody who's converted to their way of life or that believes what they believe, but uh, they recognize the the um, nobility in Babette and her what she has done with this meal and and um, ah, it's just so beautiful. I love it. I love this movie. I think it is so lovely. I love. All the actors are wonderful. I would say their names, but I'm going to totally butcher them. But they are all just lovely. And it is, it's funny. It's not somber, uh, but it's not silly. These, like I said, the religious characters are not, are, are, the religious characters are not caricatures, which is so refreshing. And uh, of course, it's, it is fun to see all the food, but it's not like a food porn movie. Uh, it's all just about her creating this experience for these people and her saying thank you and there's this gratitude and this humility and uh to, you know knowing that these people saved her life and and now she's able to fully live her life she's able to express her gifts at least one more time in her life and how meaningful that is to her and how meaningful that is in life you know like she could have done so many other things with this lottery money but she chose to to give, to create something beautiful for people that had saved her life. And I just think that's, it's so beautiful. I love it. It's beautifully made. The cinematography is wonderful. And I, I think that uh, it's just a movie that you can watch with your whole family and really just feel good about people in life. And this is just one of those movies that makes you feel good about the human spirit. And uh, so it's directed by Gabriel Axel and uh, it's just a lovely film. I really encourage you to check it out and it's just be a perfect movie to watch on Thanksgiving. So let me know if you have seen Babette's Feast. What do you think of it? Do you like it? Not like it? Where are you at on it? And uh, if you get a chance to see it, let me know what you think. And uh, thanks so much. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you later. Bye!